What's up, you beautiful, sexy, outstanding people? Today we're going to look at how internal and external rotation are different at the scapula and the anominates. The difference between these two bones is the axes at which internal and external rotation occur. Let me show you what's going on. When we're talking about internal and external rotation at the scapula, you will see that in this video, internal and external rotation occurs via a superior and inferior axes. So if I externally rotate the scapula, you can see how the medial border comes closer to you. And then as I internally rotate the scapula, the medial border of the scapula moves away from you. If I'm going from this angle here, ER would be medial border getting closer. You can see how it's a superior and inferior view. And then IR would be medial border moving away from the spine. So it's th uh, this axis. How does that compare when we're talking about the anominate? Well, I'm glad you asked. With the anominate, you do not get this superior to inferior axes. Watch. As I internally rotate the femur in this case, you can see that the internal rotation that happens at the anominate is in a different axis than what we saw at the scapula. In this case, the axis is more anterior to posterior in that regard, and that's what creates the internal and external rotation. So as I IR the femur, you see how the, the shape and the position of the anominate changes. Same thing with external. Now I have this in-flare, out-flare thing going on at the anominate. And that's why you can't have an analogous comparison of external versus internal rotation at the scapula and the pelvis. What is more analogous, though, would be upward and downward rotation. Because when I perform upward and downward rotation, you can see these movements occurring in the same axes. So upward and downward is a very similar movement at the scapula as it is at the anominate. And that is more likely your better comparator between the two. So if you get confused about why orientation and compensation is slightly different or it's explained differently when we're discussing the pelvis and the scapulohumeral area or more accurately the scapulothoracic area, that's why. Check that out. See if that clears things up.